Hi, this is Chantal from Shakai Bakery, and today I'm going to teach you how to watermark your images using Photoshop CS2. Please check out my other videos in my YouTube channel to learn other tutorials, either cake or business related. Let's begin. To get started, you're going to go to File and open your image. So you click on Open and you find the image that you want to watermark. At this step, you also open your logo. So I already went ahead and got that done. And this is my logo, and I actually use a PSD file for my watermarking because it keeps the background blank, so I get to do whatever I want with my logo itself. So now we have our two images here. So what you do, you grab the Move tool, which is this little arrow up above here in CS2. You click on it. You go to your logo. You click and hold and drag it into the new image. So now a lot of the times your logo is going to be huge. So what I do is I hold control minus and I shrink it. Okay? Then I go to edit, open up transform, and you're going to choose scale. So I'm going to shrink this a little more until I see all of my areas here. And I'm going to shrink this. And then I'm going to hold Control plus to enlarge the image again. And I will continue scaling my logo to the size I want. So let's say I want it right about there. Then I just hit Enter. And you have to be careful because if you're going to touch up your image, you want to do this before you add your logo because the final step here is to flatten the image so it becomes one. And now I can't move it because the layer is locked into the image. Now when you watermark your images, you want to make sure you pick an area that isn't too obstructive of your image. I know, especially in the cake industry, it's a little difficult to choose a proper position because you want to protect your image, but at the same time, you don't want to cover it too much. So just, usually I choose the bottom right or I photograph my images to give space for my logo. So once you're happy with the location, you hit enter. Now let's say that you don't want your image to show this strongly. You go down here to the bottom right and where it says layers, underneath there it says normal and to the side it says opacity. So you click there and then you just play around with it and it reduces the image strength. So you could play around with that until you like what you see. Save the file when you go to save as you're gonna choose JPEG because a lot of the times it'll choose a Photoshop PDF file. And there you go. Nice and easy. Good luck! And please make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link below or to the subscribe button on the top right of this video. Also, if you look at my description bar, you'll find clickable links to my Facebook pages and other social media, as well as my website. Thank you, and until next time.